A very big good day and welcome to the grand final edition of the 2012 Riddle District Football League Web TV program. My name's Andy. Very pumped to be with you. And uh, Gab, you were just as excited. You, you were getting really pumped up in the car on the way down, mate. Absolutely. Just, looking just forward. That's best uh, best week in football. Uh, last weekend with the prelims and we had bow medal night last week. And mm. of course, heading into this weekend, Sunday at Lansfield Park doesn't get any bigger than that for the RDFL. And you put a message to the better half, just expect you not to be home. Yeah, I've sent her away. She's gone <laughs> gone away to, to visit the family because, um, uh, yeah, I won't be home. And how do you manage with the cooking, mate? Um, yeah, I'm not going to be home, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll work it out somehow. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'll, we'll, some of the things we'll be working out in this show is that we'll, we've got some two special superstar netball guests coming in in the second quarter, matched with some equally good stars, uh, for the football, so we're just getting a really good taste of it. And on the back of the Bowen Medal night, nice to see you floating around there in your Sunday best. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good night at the at the Bowen, and had a great time. And uh, it, oh, it's always a good night for the RDFL. You never fault it, but something you can never fault is the big grand final day on Sunday morning, starting at 9:30. Gav, we've got the under 18 hours football now. Not too many people would have picked this matchup at the end of the uh, the year because. The top two sides in, in the home and away season didn't make the grand final. We've got the fourth placed Wallen and the latter leading Riddle side. Now, this is going to be a big game. The, the Pies and the Bombers. We know the rivalry in the <laughs> AFL, mate, but this one is going to be extraordinary. Who are some of the stars we've got to keep an eye out for at the Pies? Yeah, well, look, it's um, good. Wallen's done really well. They, they defeated the Kangaroos a couple of weeks ago, got themselves in. Um, they've got some really good young footballers that have had senior experience this year. Reese Frost, mm. up forward, um, has had an exceptional final series so far. Well, he kicked six goals against the Summer Yeah, Kangaroos. kicked six, a, six against the Kangas, and I think he might have bagged uh, four or five in the first final as well. Mm. So he, he's on fire at the moment. So Riddle's going to have to keep an eye on him. Him, um, young Josh Barber, who just uh, look, he's a, he's a dominant under 18s footballer, wins plenty of the ball around the ground, but plays predominantly as a centre half forward. Um, is is a really really dangerous player, and I've picked out a little bit of a smoky because he's one of my favourite players to to watch run around, and that's uh, Adam Subin off the halfback flank, mm -hmm. hard at it, head over the footy, rarely loses a contest. Um, I, I coached him in the 18s interleague last year, and he, he's a good good young player to watch. Well, we'll certainly keep an eye for him because he's got the job ahead of him against some of the bombers who have got a pretty good forward line and a good midfield. Led by Matt Darby. Now, a big decision by the Riddle Senior Football Club to send him back down the under-18s on the eve of the finals. And he's since been a standout. He kicked three goals in the preliminary final victory against the Summary Kangaroo. Shows good presence, but he's got a heck of a midfield in Darcy Bedgegood and uh, Timmy Rousel hovering around. Yeah, that's, um, Darbs has had a, a, a just a fantastic year of... Um, in the senior football, he, he was highly placed in the Rising Gun Award. Um, came back and played in the um, in the finals in the first final in the under 18s. Um, was supposedly carrying a bit of a shoulder injury in that game, but uh, still managed to snag six goals. So he's um, he's a quality young player, and he only improves every single week. Darcy Bedgood came back last week after missing four weeks. Through injury, a little, uh, a funny little injury that Das had. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it was an existing one, an old one that had already healed, from what I can, uh, from the information I was told. And <laughs> but he's um, he's he was really good on the weekend. We thought he might have ran out of legs, but no. And Timmy Rousel's just he's a dangerous player. He's got senior football experience. Mm -hmm. um, really dangerous around there, up up forward. He's been a big asset since crossing from the uh, Gisborne rookies. Now, just a quick tip on this one. Who's going to win and why? Yeah, I think, look, Riddle's led the ladder all year for a reason. I think they're going to be really tough to topple this week. But, you know, difficult conditions. It looks like the, the forecast isn't, isn't overly favourable for us at the moment. Um, Wallen will be right in the game. It should be a cracking game of football. Let's, uh, let's hope for a really good close one there. Now, let's just quickly have a look at the reserves. We've got uh, Diggers Rest facing the Bombers. Uh, the Bombers have been really commanding all year, but the Burrows, 
They had a minor premiers, and they had a really gutsy win over the Redbacks last week in magnificent conditions. Come from behind win. Who's going to win this one and why? Yeah, this is a, it's going to be an interesting game because both sides, well, Riddle lost their uh, senior side two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, of course, didn't have to play on the weekend because they won the second semi, and Diggers lost their seniors on the weekend. So mm. the, the real interest is going to go back to that conversation that happens every single year in reserves footy, who can qualify? So, um, who does call you know, I think, um, I believe Riddle actually lose Michael Allen, who's had a dominating final series. Um, he's he won't be available, and neither will Rick Elliott, who was dominant in the first final or the uh, semi final out at uh, out at Kilmore. Yeah, but they will pick up Levi Moss, mm -hmm. uh, and Matty Baird should his injury come up okay. And I also think they get back Glenn Robinson. Um, Diggers Diggers will lose Mark Freeth from last week. Um, for those that seen the game, he was close to best on ground. He was outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they'll lose him. But they possibly could gain uh, Jack Sheehan, who's uh, mm -hmm. come back from the uh, Under 18s TAC Cup and been excellent for the uh, for the. Borough in the finals. Uh, also, Tommy Gleeson, I, I believe, qualifies as well, who's a very, very handy uh, pick-up for the Borough's twos if he <laughs> if he's decides to pull on the boots. And Steve Fogarty, who played in the ones last week and was probably close to Digger's best player on the ground in the prelim. Oh, the, the handy auditions. Are, well, I think, the, for me, the star on the day is going to be Reese Hannon. Look out, the Scarborough medalist. He's coming right up there. The, the Mighty Bombers, and he's going to have an impact. He kicked three goals last week, and he's going to hit the ground hard. He, he did. He kicked three last week, but he looked like he kicked about seven. He was everywhere last <laughs> week. And um, Chris Payne had a quiet game last week, but this is the battle of the two best full forwards in the reserves competitions, Matty Vandenberg for Riddle and um, Chris Payne for Diggers Rest. So that'll be one to watch. Darcy Grant up back for Riddle's Mr. Consistent, always plays well. Um, Troy Mariner in the first final kicked four first half or first quarter goals. He was everywhere yep. early in that game and really set the tone. Um, and th and then you've got um, Fog Steve Fogarty if he does come back and Tommy Gleeson if they do come back, they're going to have an impact on the contest. Who's going to win? Uh, I think Diggers will win the game. Um, mm -hmm. They've been the best side all year. Riddle have really come together. I, I mean, you can see I've seen on Facebook their whole Bomberchero's thing, and um, they've they've really that that reserve side's really come together. But I just have to give the edge to Diggers in in probably in a close one. Well, I think uh, the Bombers in the upset here because they'll, they'll be up against the minor premiers. Now we've we've got a massive segment coming up next. We've got uh, we've got two superstar netballers coming. We're going to have a really good look at the netball. But uh, just quickly. Who, who have we got in B and C grade who's battling off in grand final? We've got Riddle and Macedon in the C grade competition. Yep. Um, so that, that should be a, a cracking match. We'll yep. look forward to that one. Uh, I'll, I'll probably give the edge a little bit to Macedon in that one. Yep. Uh, and then we have Macedon and Romsey in the B grade competition as well, and um, as well as the A grade competition. So that's uh, that should be a cracking contest. But uh, I think I'll... I'll I'll probably give the edge there in B grade, maybe just a little to Romsey. I'm going to get on the Cats bandwagon. They're going to go to three eight here. And being a wood ender, that is not in the blood. It's like saying Colin would win the grand final. Just impossible. We're going to have a chat to two superstar netballers coming on right after this in the second quarter of the RDFL Web TV show.